it really was important to me to have the building very much of the desert and very much of Jai Samir. I wanted the building to reflect the moving sand dunes, the wind, the elements that you see in a desert building that's really all about the sky. During the course of being there, I felt very strongly about the craftsmanship and actually to promote the craftsmanship. And in order to do so, it felt to me that it was important to actually show the kinds of building techniques in a modern form. And also I wanted for the girls ultimately to feel very safe in the building. So a strong cultural element that actually shows up in the built form and architecture is the veiling of women. So there are these screens, what we have called the jolly walls, which I did a modern interpretation of them to actually provide modesty as a way to be respectful to, to their culture, but also enable um, the kinds of of activities that I think are really important for girls that, you know, again, globally we skip over. Like for example, I created this play wall and in front of it is a jolly wall. So it's essentially a modesty screen. Behind this wall, these girls can be free and they can run up and down the stairs and they can play. The jolly walls actually also increase the speed of wind and cool the temperature by um, a venturi effect. The sandstone itself has very strong thermal capacity. I also incorporated um, high ceilings so that the heat would rise. And in addition to that, there's transom windows at that height where the wind actually takes the heat out through the classrooms into the courtyard. These methods have actually managed to reduce the the heat in the classrooms to, you know, sometimes 20 degrees this Fahrenheit to 30 degrees cooler. We have solar power, which basically covers all of our electrical needs. We have a pump because we have a water harvesting system. And for that, I went to local sources. There are people who are experts in the ancient water harvesting techniques, which so many of which are actually no longer um, in use in India. And I think there's a whole trend to sort of go back to what those systems are. So we have um, the roof is, an, is a collector and our courtyard is a collector of water. We collect during the monsoon and for the rest of the year, we're fine. When I started researching the ellipse, it's the shape of uh, femininity across many cultures, female strength, um, you know, it's an egg, it's a womb. When the girls first went in, they started actually playing in circles. The women often work in circles. There's just a a natural connection from the shape. In Jaisamir, unfortunately, because of the caste system and the dowry system, there is a, a fairly high rate of, of female infanticide. There's um, very low literacy rates, and that's primarily because of child marriage and also um, the, the girls are very much part of the labor force. It's really out of survival that they've, that these conditions have happened. I don't propose to make all of these changes. What I wanted to do really with the school was to say, I'm going to create a space that actually elevates and honors the girl child and to serve as an example that, you know, your boys are valuable, but so are your girls.